Hello again folks, it's been a while since I've done a kit build on the channel so I thought I'd do one tonight and what we're going to be building is this DIY kit high voltage generator arc igniter lighter kit for DIY electronic production suite. Love the names of these kits. But anyway, let's open up and have a look and see what we get. Now I think this is more one of these uh, plasma type uh, sort of high voltage kits rather than a taser if you like um but in the kit we get obviously the high voltage transformer our pcb which looks reasonable quality as is often the case with these kits um electrolytic cap um a 330 ohm resistor little diode um connector block or terminal block small tactile switch did I say electrolytic cap? Well, there's one there anyway. Uh, a TO220 package, presumably transistor. Um, nut and bolt for said transistor. A couple of cable ties. And the instructions, which appear to be all in Chinese or some Asian uh, script here. Um, yeah. It does say DC 3 to 5 volts. 3 amps? Anyway, there's a schematic there. Uh, terminal block, switch, resistor, blah, blah, blah. There's our parts list. Um, yeah, let's have a look at that transformer, because one, this is a very poor image. Two, it's in Asian text, which unfortunately I cannot read. Um, and three, I haven't a clue, because I've never built one of these before um, clearly these are our outputs here though but we appear to have three four wires come off the transformer the middle one is uh, has been uh, uh, doubled up paralleled up the different thicknesses as well I mean, that picture tells you nothing other than to coil the, the uh, coil the surplus uh, copper up. Let's look at the PCB. All ah, right, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Possibly though. Let me use this cable tie as a little pointer device, a pointing device. Uh, you can just make out the silk screen here. And as you can see, this one, there's a very thin is it a trace going to that pad. This one's got a thicker and a thinner one. And this is a sort of medium size, if you like. And that does certainly seem to marry up with the transformer itself. Because we've got a thin wire here. We've got a double one and a slightly thicker one there. So I'm, I'm going to presume that that is the, the way it goes on. Um, I don't think there's any merit in coiling up the the wires the transform of course the, the coils of the transformer within this potted little block here so i think we might just drag the wires through and solder it up anyway talking of soldering up let's get cracking so as always we'll do the lowest profile component first which is our diode and I'm sure you've seen before, the little line is to the bottom if, as you look at it here. So that means that it goes to the line on the uh, silk screen. So we'll pop that in there, bend the leads out, and we might as well stick the resistor in at the same time. Like so. And I think that'll do us so far. So, and I'll just do this in real time, guys and girls. Um, I will make it as brief as possible. As always, you can fast forward should you so desire to see the end results. If you have just come across this channel by accident, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Believe it or not, 100% fact, 99% um, of my viewers in this channel are not subscribed. So, which is a bit disappointing, because I've got just over 11,000 subscribers. So if uh, 
all the people that did watch the channel subscribed, I'd have a lot more. I might get my little plaque at some point this millennium. <laughs> But anyway, it's not all about that, it's just about making rubbish content for you guys to enjoy. And girls, I keep saying guys, guys and girls, and whoever you identify as. Right, we'll pop the tactile switch in next. Uh, I'll put the cap in as well. Again, it's a polarised component, so we can see that negative, the cathode there, is identified by this white strip here, and that goes to the white strip you know it orientates it with that white strip on the uh, silk screen so just gently maneuver that into place and we'll pop that down good thing about the little tactile switches is that it uh, it locks into the board so it's quite um quite easy to to solder that up And, you know, you want to be quite quick with components that have got a plastic case because you don't want to um, melt the plastic and cause it to malfunction. Um, you know, another top tip, just uh, tack up one of the leads on your cap there and just check its position. Actually, actually worked out quite well, but sometimes you might need to reflow or slightly twist it just to get it aligned so it sits nicely on the board. Chop those leads off. Okay, so next thing we we'll do is pop our transistor on. Now we want this metal case uh, or tab to marry up with this uh, plated area here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that in like so and gently bend it over into position. And what I tend to do is, on components like this, I will secure it before I solder it. So we'll just pop the nut on there. Like so. Give that a little tweak with the screwdriver. Okay. And then we can solder up these uh, three legs. And you might need a bit of heat. Um, well, it's probably the collector here. You probably need quite a bit of heat in the collector just because it has got that big tab on the back um, and will be on the, the ground plane. But that seems to have soldered up okay. Do the job. Sorry, I don't know if you've been able to see any of this. I'll try zooming in a little bit for you. So I'm just going to cut these legs off now. Like so, and then we'll pop the um, terminal block on. So just let gravity do do its thing there. Get some fresh solar. Again, just check how that's looking. That's aligned enough for me. And just. Do another side. So that's the main board done. Next thing is to put the uh, leads for the transformer through. So that one goes there. Ooh, that's tight. That is tight. I'll tell you what, just chop that off. Because I pre-tinned them, just a little bit too tight for the board. And that single fine conductor through the last hole. So we'll drag those through, like so. And then we'll use one of the supplied cable ties to secure it. Sorry, I don't know if you saw any of that at all. So yeah, so what I've done is I've just threaded the, the copper conductors through um, and just dragged the, the excess through rather than coiling up as per the instructions. And then we'll just 
cinch that down, trim it off, and then we'll solder these three conductors up. Now, this is enameled copper wire. Um, there is no reason or need to to scrape off the enamel. Um, if you've got your iron hot enough, uh, the temperature of the iron and the solder will just melt through the um, the enamel. It should melt through the enamel and uh, make a good connection. He says. Let's check that. Yep, yeah, that seems good enough to me. So we'll trim those three off as well. And we should be good to go. So I have pre-positioned my bench power supply, like crocodile clips. Um, with a couple of bits of scrap wire I had knocking around. I'm just loosen off these connectors. It's a positive goes to the left as we're looking at it here. Again, we'll just cinch these down. Negative on the right. Let's see, it says three to five volts at three amps, which seems quite excessive. Okay, so let's turn on the power supply. Might as well go to, yeah, we might as well go all in. So we'll go five volts at 3.05 amps. That is the output on. Um, and let's see if it works. So keep an eye here. Nothing. Let me just bring those closer together and try again. I got a there when it jumped off. Right, we're getting nothing. Getting absolutely nothing there. Let's just double check everything. That's there, that's there, that's plugged in. Put someone, is it drawing anything? It's not drawing anything at all. Right. Seems to be a problem somewhere, bear with me, I'll uh, pause the video, investigate and get back to you. Right, we're sorted, a uh, little bit of investigation, yeah it was indeed the um, the transformer windings, when I said about having your iron nice and hot, uh, clearly I didn't, and I just applied heat for a, about 5 or 10 seconds to each one, flowed a little bit of solder in there, it was spun off that enamel varnish, uh, and now it's working. So, if I put this here... And let me see, where are my bench lights? i turn these bench lights off. Ooh. Hopefully, if I press this button, you should be able to see a little arc. There we go. So, I don't know if you can hear my power supply um, kicking into life there but when that's running it's drawing a, a shade over two amps which uh, is quite a lot to be honest so yeah this is gonna have to have a, a fairly not a hefty battery but something that's got a, can have quite a bit of current drawing it and um, shall we see if it actually works as a lighter i don't have a an explosion containment pie dish like uh, like big Clive, but we'll give this a go. So we'll pop this paper in between, press the button, and indeed it goes on fire. So there you have it. That is the little um, high voltage igniter lighter thing module. Um, it's not like I say. It's not like a taser. It is that's a plasma type um, arc. But there you go. Got this from AliExpress, it was about £1.80, I think, including delivery from China. Again, just a, a fun little kit to do. Uh, obviously, we had to do a little bit of fault investigation on it, but that's half the battle, half the fun, isn't it? So there you go. 
Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was a load of rubbish, give me a thumbs down. If you haven't already done so, and you'd like to consider doing so, please click on my fat head. Where's my finger? Oh, it's zoomed in so far. Here. Click on my fat head here <laughs> if you want to subscribe. And until next time, guys and girls, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best.